Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Team of the Season Awar car to review today. And uh, guys, to be honest with you, you guys know how Awar is. This guy is a super, super versatile card in this game, right? So uh, you can use him in the attacking positions, midfield positions, defensive positions. We have an anchor chemistry style on him because I want to test out certain things on the card because of the rest of the players that we have in this team, right? So... With Team of the Season Awar, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skimmels with a four star weak foot. Now, I do see this card mostly being used in the right mid, left mid, center mid, CDM positions, but it is a card that you could potentially actually use in the attacking positions. But from his freeze card, when I tried him out, I was like, oh my god, this guy is just such an incredible center mid to use in this game. I just got to specifically use him there. But we're going to be trying him out in different positions, obviously, right? Uh, in game, player traits he has both the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait on his car with the flare trait in game attributes is at 94 acceleration with 90 sprint speed so obviously with the anchor chemistry style boosting it to a 99 95 is definitely going to be a very nice thing while giving him a defensive boost and a physical boost as well. Base card stats for shooting is set up really nicely for a card mostly playing through the midfield at 97, 94, 91, 93 long shots with 84 for volleys at 92 composure. Base card stats for passing on the card is obviously phenomenal too. You don't have to look at that too much. Dribbling for this card is set up really nicely for base card stats because for a person with a lean body type, having everything to be at the mid 90s, low 90s area is definitely Definitely going to be a very nice thing to work with when it comes to our chilling in your team for the most or for most of the positions. Uh, base card stats for defending is set up really nicely so that if you give him uh, an anchor chemistry style, you actually boost his defense quite substantially, right? So playing in the midfield position with good interceptions, defensive awareness, standing tackles, uh, sliding tackles, it'll definitely be very nice. The important ones are usually the interceptions, defensive awareness, and the standing tackles, right? Sliding tackles is from time to time, you know? Uh, and then for base card stats for physical, we are going to be improving that as well with the anchor chemistry style, boosting it to a 93 for strength and a 90 for jumping. Some people who are uh, full meta players will probably give him a shadow chemistry style regardless of most people thinking that the anchor makes more sense because of the acceleration sprint speed boost while working with a plus five for sliding tackles while giving him an extra plus five for the interceptions as well. So for me, I do think that for the meta aspect of the game, most people will definitely be giving him the shadow chemistry style, but I do want to test him out with the anchor regardless, right? So for this card in this team, the way that it's currently set up, we're going to be using him in the 4-4-2 as a striker to test out what his attacking AI is like. What's funny is that he actually had uh, the freeze version of Awar on his team, and now Giyu has the uh, team of the season version, which is obviously awesome, right? So uh, in the striker position, we're going to be using him on the stay central instruction, and then we'll basically take it from there. I might actually rotate him into the midfield position to see what he's like attacking and defensive wise, but I just want to see what he's like on the anchor anyways, right? So uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays it in game. They released this card at like a really weird time. I think today they released it at 236. That's what Guy was telling me anyways. I was working on the Depay review when he told me about this one, so that's why we're a little bit late on this one. You have to do so many shot cancels in this game to be able to score your opportunities because I worked so many like different spaces there, but I had to do the extra shot cancels to make sure I got the guarantee. But the initial run was great. We scored the opportunity. Oh, he jumped over it. Why? Oh, he shouldn't have jumped over it. Good initial movement though. Oh, nice little first time strike there. Yeah, this Awar card, honestly, like, Awar is like one of those uh, foot cards in this game, you know? Like a card that you can pretty much use anywhere, attack, defense, and he's just gonna be an absolute monster. It's like Atal, you know? Atal, I don't even know what Atal does in real life, but in FIFA, he's a monster. There we go. Yeah, I noticed that he pushed out his goalkeeper a tiny bit and came back. You see that Awar with his work rates 
and his initial pace that he has utilizes that empty space, uh, utilizes that empty space really quickly, and we score that opportunity again. Oh, see, I just wanted to boost up the strike just to see how he would hit it, but he hits it with such venom, man. Oh, I, I had to get that one touch there and then the immediate pass off. The immediate pass off into the middle would be perfect right there. Oh, oh, I thought I was actually going to get that right there. So do you see how like when Bamba actually starts to cut inside, Alwar starts to utilize his position and starts being aggressive to attack the empty space? Look even just right here, right? Look at where he's actually positioned. You see how he actually started to track back into that defensive area? And he's playing striker too, man. I didn't, even, I didn't actually tell him to like go back in the defense. He just did it by default. Oh, even when I lost the ball there, his quick transition speed is awesome to work with. Oh, I thought Neymar was going to block me. <laughs> I really did think that Neymar was going to block me right there. Woo. When I looked at Alwar's freeze card, I forget what it was exactly. I think it was his dribbling that wasn't really like super ideal yet for me to use in the main attacking positions. But obviously with this Alwar card, his attacking stats are obviously in a very, very good spot in regards to dribbling and for uh, just shooting and stuff. Right there would have been nice if he actually hit that. But here's the thing, right? So shooting, if I were to boost his shooting stats because I want to actually use him in the main attacking positions, he actually might be able to score that. But obviously we're using an anchor to test out some of the different variables of the card, right? Oh, I wanted him to do like a, a really, really quick left stick touch right there. That sucks. Would have been nice. Oh, I had to I had to do one more thing against that last defender right there. But I love how fast he adjusts himself when he's in the attack. He gets into an offside position, comes back immediately. Finesse shot from there. It was actually pretty good if it wasn't blocked. Wins the ball in the air too. Let's go. Let's go, Awar. Guys, I'm telling you, man, if you guys are using like a 4-3-1-2 and he's playing as your right center mid, like these are the types of cards you want to have, man. These guys are super saucy, dude. Jeez, man. I didn't even want to go for the far post right there because I just wanted to test him out on the near post there again. And uh, he's just popping off, man. Oh, quick adjustments. We get into a bad position for the finesse shot there. So you could see the guys that if you want to use him in the attacking positions, you definitely could. It would be more ideal to actually give him an a, uh, attacking oriented chemistry style for sure. It's definitely going to be very important for him if you want to do that uh, in the attacking positions. But like I said, man, this card is definitely a card that most people are going to unlock because they want to use him as a midfielder in a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-1-2 Gonna try to get the chip shot here. Didn't work out, but Awar with the finish again. Oh yeah. Shooting boost is definitely needed uh, if you want to use them in the main attacking positions. But those are low percentage strikes, man. In the midfield position, if my player could shoot the ball like that there. Okay, guys. So we're going to go ahead and switch him into the center mid position this time um we will switch him with marquinhos actually take marquinhos out we'll put in ben yetter and awar we're going to tell him to cut past the lane where we're going to tell him to actually get forward for this team cool
Oh, yeah. I always try to do that skill move against the uh, defenders or the goalkeeper, but there's no animation for the goalie to fall to the floor from that one, so... Yeah, so you can see because of his high medium work rates, he's not as aggressive when it comes to uh, coming back into the defensive position, but he's still going to be good enough at doing it if you want to use him in a two midfield position. It's always preferable to have like the high, high work rates. Like Bruno Fernandes is one of the most meta-oriented center mids. A card like Awar, if you want to use in the actual center mid position, it's super ideal to use him uh, in a three midfield formation. Like those formations is where you're going to really fully utilize a card like this. Like a 4 3 one, two, four, one two, and 2 Stuff like that for you to be able to utilize that attacking AI, dribbling, shooting, and all of that stuff as much as possible. Because that's how the team kind of like opens up the most, you know? Yeah, so over there I want to go for like a couple of extra stuff. You do have to go for more shot cancels for you to uh, score those opportunities there. Good stuff, Awar. A couple of shot cancel angles. You got to do it to... Score in this game. Love that he utilized that empty space really quickly there. Yeah, I just wanted to try a regular power strike far away from the goalkeeper in that situation. Yeah, so you see the difference between him and Ronaldo Sanchez, the way that they go back defensively. It's, it's just for the meta of the game, it's always nice to have the high-high. But obviously, defensively, he'll still be good, just mostly in that three midfield setup. Because usually the, the setup you'll have is like, one center mid is high-medium, one is high-high, or both of them are high-mediums. And you just have that balance of your CDM basically blocking everything as much as possible. And there's the attacking AI right there, you see? That's where it starts to activate right there. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Team of the Season Awar card. So in comparison to the Foot Birthday card and what you're looking at, right? You're looking at an Awar card where the biggest difference is going to be in the two main things, right? It's going to be in the defending department as well as the five-star weak foot. So that's where you're going to be looking at mostly when it comes to these cards in game. I do really enjoy using the five-star weak foot, especially for this Foot Birthday Awar card because this card on a Shadow Chemistry style Obviously, doesn't have as many defensive stats as a team of the season, but because he's more of an attacking-oriented center mid with the high-medium work rates, I liked him on the shadow chemistry style to use him mostly in that position, especially since he has the five-star weak foot to work with as well, right? With the team of the season, you will notice a defensive boost in-game when playing him in that three midfield setup because on a card like the team of the season if we take a look at it right the shadow chemistry style makes the most sense for him because of the pace boost that you give him as well as the defensive boost in sliding tackles as well as the interception so that defensive boost will definitely make a difference the dribbling in game will also make a difference as well as the shooting for the car because it's plus threes and plus threes is definitely going to be a noticeable difference from the foot birthday to the team of the season right so the team of the season SBC is definitely worth getting he's a card that is a foot-oriented card, a card that can equally attack uh, just as well as he can equally defend, but he is a high-medium work-rated player, so you do have to take that into consideration when it comes to the defending aspect, because obviously for the meta of the game, it's preferable to have the high-high work-rated players, and you can see the difference when I had Renato Sanchez and Arwar in regards to that, you know, uh, when he comes, when it comes to like the chase after animation of him coming back really quickly, like Ronaldo is a little bit more aggressive, Awar not so much. But when you use cards like this in a three midfield setup, especially with the Shadow Chemistry style, a card that can attack and defend, it's really, really nice to work with. So as an SBC guys, I do think that he's worth getting. If you want to use him as an attacker, which I think he's going to be mostly used as a midfielder for you guys, to be honest with you, right? Because of the four star, four star. It's better to have the five star skills, five star weak foot, all that stuff in the striker position. Although he's going to be a monster at striker, I personally see him being used mostly in that midfield position with the shadow chemistry style. And will he play it really well? He definitely will. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.